I am Will Eager. I am the Chief Business Officer here in Ravenswood City School District. I'm Nico Janik. My official title is STEM Coordinator, and I support our TK5 teachers um, for whatever they need to do science. Um, I'm Delma Camacho. I am the Director of Operations for Ravenswood. My job um, encompasses a lot of different areas, um, mostly having to do with facilities. As a school district, we're focused, like all school districts, on creating a better world for our kids. And I think if that's your goal, I think all school districts have a moral obligation at this point to really think about what they're doing to make sure that they're not just preparing students academically for the future, but making sure that the future that they have is not going to be one of wildfires, rising seas, you know, and mass extinction. So I think that school districts really have a clear moral obligation to thinking about their overall carbon footprint and what they're doing to address the climate crisis. Um, I think they reached out to help us create out outdoor spaces and then we'll just kind of went for it and wanted to get everything we could. Um, so it, it's really, it's really been I'm gonna say enlightening to see that there is actually a lot of support out there. So that's been kind of really um, eye-opening and really inspiring too. So I'm kind of new to this, um, you know, green anything. Um, I do try, you know, at home to do as much as I can, but, you know, now being in the, in the program, it's, uh, it's kind of uh, brought reality, you know, that I'm not doing as much as I could and, you know, that, I do take that as a personal responsibility. And I guess just, you know, having the, the platform to learn and, and grow is really, uh, I really enjoy it. I've been interested in doing some climate work with the district and, and somehow we all sort of ended up talking and it's just been the most rewarding partnership so far uh, over the last couple of months as, as we've been working through a whole bunch of different things, the guidance and the uh, teamwork and support has just been absolutely invaluable, uh, both in the green ribbon process and just thinking about our overall broader sustainability, climate justice work, uh, and resiliency efforts overall. In my mind, the biggest reason to apply for the Green Ribbon was really to get a sense, sort of focus area by focus area, of how we were doing. Um, and the idea is to use this benchmark um, as a way to, to really sort of drive our efforts forward and make sure that we're you know, focusing on the areas that can have the biggest impact. And so for us, I think the most valuable part of this is um, one, giving us a sense of just sort of how we stack up, where our uh, rows and glows are. Um, and then two, I, I think that folks like Nico and Delma have been doing a lot of environmental work throughout the district. Folks who've been here a lot longer than I have have been doing really just amazing things. And I think the Green Ribbon really reflects their work. One thing that was not, that I um, enjoyed was that benchmarking sort of piece. Like I think um, just having everything pulled together um, was really helpful and inspiring for me to see. I think another thing that that we talked about in the admin fellowship um, that Dom and I are doing on the on you know the first session we did is just um, learning more and more about how strong the impacts are in our community, you know, the air quality issues, the sea level rise um, impacts. So I think um, that's an important piece that brought home, you know, that just the impacts are gonna be really close to home. So th that makes it really important too. One of our sites is really focused on an outdoor garden, you know, clearing the area for them to start and I know we want to build a structure of some sort there for, uh, to support the outdoor classroom, but yeah, that that project um, is being led by the principal on site, and I think that's just really exciting for the community. Just you know, the kids. To, I remember having a garden when when I went to our school in Redwood City, and you know, we really took care of it, and it, it's fun. It's a fun activity, and it, it teaches you a lot. There's a lot going on. Um, you know, we have the solar power. Uh, solar panel project that Will is heading and just a bunch of stuff that, you know, we did do, like Will mentioned, we replaced our fleet. 
um, we use CNG, which is you know more cleaner, cleaner burning than diesel. You know, even though we have talked about solar panels for a while, highlighting as as Nico said that you know half of these Palo Altos in danger of flooding. Our asthma rates are three times the county average. Um, uh, you know, thinking about things like that, I think has made some of these efforts a little bit <laughs> on the fast track. You know, I think we're moving faster on solar panels than we might have otherwise with this conversation happening. I think we're hoping to get green teams in all of our schools. We're hoping to get a green working group um, really up and running and, and really sort of driving towards integrating sort of a, a green strategic plan into the overall strategic plan of the district. We need to um, make the programs themselves sustainable and institutionalized in some way, because I do think having been in the district for a while, there are these really pockets of wonderful things that happen. And sometimes a great teacher goes away and those programs go away too. So I think as a district, we do need to look at what's working and make sure people know about it and make sure we capture what's happening and, um, you know, give it whatever it needs to continue to thrive and, you know, and live on. One of my, one of the things I would love to do is really offer our students fresher food. Um, nothing, my, my dream is to not serve our kids anything in cellophane. So there's a lot of, there might be a lot of alignment in the work you're already doing. The work that I had done for and for NGSS um, really kind of translated really well for this and that they have a lot of standards um, now connected to human impact, but also connected to that problem solving piece that I think is really important and adv advocacy piece too. So, you know, looking for local environmental problems and then going through a design and engineering design cycle about how to solve them. Mm -hmm.